Hi, and welcome to a new episode on microscopy techniques. In a previous video, we have discussed and demonstrated the different techniques of free hand section cutting of plant materials. We have also highlighted that such a technique, although simple and straightforward, also comes with certain key limitations. The link to that video is shown in the top right corner of the screen and also in the description below. In this video, we'll be demonstrating the use and techniques involved in the use of the hand microtome. The hand microtome is a portable, lightweight, simple to use and convenient sectioning tool that gives good results with plant specimens especially. Compared to the traditional benchtop microtome that requires the specimen to be chemically processed and then embedded in a wax block for sectioning, the hand microtome can produce thin enough sections quickly and without the need for any sample pretreatment. In fact, the hand microtome works best with fresh plant materials which may or may not be embedded in a pith material. The hand microtome can be used either as a handheld tool or a tabletop device if you couple it up with the table clamp accessory that comes with the microtome. A typical unit also usually comes with a razor blade. The hand microtome itself has a top sectioning platform made of a smooth and perfectly flat material such as stainless steel, glass or enamel coated materials. In the very center of the platform is the specimen holding groove or depression that has a removable support base for holding the specimen with or without pit material in position. One point to be noted here is that the hand microtome is designed primarily to cut sections that have been embedded in a pith material such as carrot, potato or even a paraffin wax block. The material is supposed to fit tightly in the sample holding groove for efficient sectioning. Below the sectioning platform at the very base is a rotatable knob with graduations. In most commercially sold hand microtomes, one unit of graduation usually corresponds to 0.01 millimeters or 10 microns thickness of sections. So essentially, the thinnest possible section a hand microtome can cut is somewhere around 10 microns. However, practically speaking, it's quite difficult to obtain a whole section which is that thin. The thickness graduation is also not that accurate and reliable when you actually use the hand microtome. I therefore usually jump 10 to 20 divisions while section cutting to get at least a couple of thin and complete sections out of every 20 to 30 slices. Now coming to the actual use of the hand microtome, there are a couple of ways by which you can position or place the specimen for sectioning. One way is to first prepare a cylindrical or cubical block of pith material from carrot or potato tuber as previously discussed in my video on free hand sectioning techniques. Place the material to be sectioned in between the two halves of this pit material and insert the cylindrical block into the sample holder. Make sure it fits tightly into the hole. Now slice off the extra chunk of the block containing the sample by leveling it off with the sectioning platform using the sharp cutting razor blade as shown here. You can also make minor tweaks to this technique for sample placement. Instead of filling the entire sample compartment with wax or carrot, you can trim two opposite sides of the block to make a smaller rectangular block like so. In this way, the specimen is still firmly sandwiched or embedded within the pith material, while at the same time reducing the overall surface area required for the razor blade to pass through. This makes sectioning much easier, smoother and less hefty. It also conserves the sharpness of the blade for a longer period as there is lesser material to slice through. If the material is of rigid and elongated form such as a plant stem, there is yet another way of positioning the sample. To do so, first pour molten paraffin wax a few millimeters deep into the sample compartment as shown here. Then immediately place the plant material into the molten paraffin wax such that the specimen rests against the inner wall of the specimen compartment like so. Leave the microtome set up undisturbed to allow the wax to fully solidify. In this way, the plant material alone protrudes into the sectioning platform and is conveniently sectioned quickly and easily without the need for cutting through extra layers of wax or pith materials. This conserves the sharpness of the blade and also reduces the overall surface area for sectioning. Instead of using wax as support, you can also use a shallow piece of pith material such as carrot or potato instead. I've also come across a block many years ago where someone had fastened two plain microscope slides on both sides of the sample compartment to act as the sectioning platform as you can see here. The smooth surface of the glass slide 
ensures an even more flat and uniformly even sectioning platform for passing the razor blade during sectioning. I kind of liked the idea and tried it a couple of times before with good results in terms of section thickness and uniformity. So I thought I should incorporate this as well in this video. This technique in combination with sample placement method number 3, which we have just discussed, is sure to give you good results. You might want to give it a try as well. The hand microtome can also be used to section paraffin embedded samples, although the sections obtained are still no match for those made using the more sophisticated traditional tabletop microtome. Now once you have prepared and placed the sample in the sample holder using any one or a combination of the previously discussed techniques, proceed with the section cutting. To do so, first turn the graduated knob anywhere between 10 to 20 divisions and then start sectioning the sample. To section the sample, place the razor blade on one corner against the sample at an inclined position of about 10 degrees to the sectioning platform. Pressing the blade edge firmly against the platform, make one quick stroke across the sample and the pith, moving the blade from one corner to the opposite corner like so. Collect the section in a petri dish filled with water. Again, rotate the knob to the same thickness used before and then section the sample. Repeat this exercise several times or until you are confident that you have got at least one perfectly thin and whole section. Remove the pith materials from the petri dish, leaving behind only the sections, and use a soft paintbrush to pick out the good sections from the petri dish. Never use forceps or pins with sharp tips, as they can inadvertently damage parts of the sections which will be very much evident under the microscope even if not visible right away with the unaided eyes. Once you have the ideal sections ready, you can either make a temporary or permanent slide mount of the sample. Do make sure to check out both my videos on how to make a temporary slide and a permanent slide by clicking on the links given in the description below. So this was all about the use of a hand microtome and the variations in techniques on how to place a sample for sectioning. I hope you enjoyed and benefited from this video. If so, make sure to support what I'm doing by subscribing to my channel and clicking on notifications to get notified of upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.